What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? How y'all doing? Hope all is well. All is well. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. What's going on? Oh, it's going, going down on. tonight. It's th this the one. This is the one I've been waiting for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, appreciate y'all coming up, man. Appreciate y'all coming up. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of go around, man. Have every, uh, have uh, all the brothers introduce themselves. Introduce your channel. And then I'm gonna, um, you know, then I'm gonna kick it off. Start with you, Dre. If I'm introducing my damn self at the four and a half years, introducing my channels <laughs> at the four, and I'm doing something wrong. Y'all might as well take me off this panel. Let me go back to work because I'm doing something wrong, wrong. If I'm still talking about the title, love crossing borders, Andre and Andrea. Um, so you guys already recognize that I'm Andre, not Andrea. And uh, I'm here to represent the brothers and, and the married people here in Cali, Colombia. Well, well, actually, we're outside of Cali, Colombia right now, but represent the married guys in, in Cali, Colombia. So that's what I'm here for. But yeah, I'm happy to be on the panel, man. Great, great idea. Cool, cool, cool. Solo Traveler. <clears throat> hey, what up, what up? This is your boy, Solo Traveler, ORD. ORD. And I'm representing for those, you know, those of you that are actually married to Colombianas in Medellin area. So, <clears throat> you know, been married for about several years, going on four years. So, and of course, I've been doing my content for about roughly four years as well. So, and I want to check, look me up. You know, I wish I could say the same thing about safety like love crossing borders, what he said. But you know what? I be taking vacations. I be taking break for YouTube. So, <laughs> most of y'all may not know me. So, <laughs> but nonetheless, the solo traveler ORD. Thanks. All right. Love, purpose, and passports. Oh, yeah, my man. What up, what up, what up? What's happening? Que lo que mi gente. I am Mr. Pro for you, and my channel is Love, Purpose, and Passports with my wife, the beautiful Mrs. Pro for you. We uh, we are the pros, but like we always say, not those kind of pros. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've been in the game, you know, we've been in the YouTube thing for like it's just a few months. Um, we were, uh, I was watching YouTube and I heard, you know, the person I was watching mentioned, you know, this dude, Andre, you know, and he has his wife, Andrea, and said, you know, this couple, man, they're doing amazing things on there. And, you know, this, this dude that has all this, you know, he's sharp, all this information with his beautiful wife. And I said, oh, let me go check them out, you know, let me see what they're doing. And when it looked and, and I was blown away. I said, look at this brother with his wife out here. I said, you know, I was feeling them, you know, and, uh, you know, I felt an instant connection when I watched them. And, I, you know, I brought my wife in, told her to take a look and said, you know, I think we might be able to do this. You know, they out there representing Colombia. We here represent Dominican Republic. And, um, you know, we out here doing our thing. And um, so far, so good. Man, appreciate you coming up, bro, man. Appreciate the first Super Chat of night. No other than brother Andre. Yes, get those likes up, man. Get those likes mm -hmm. up, man. We want people to get this on their feed, man. Get the likes up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Who we got real quick? Um, Jermon. What's up, everyone? First time on the channel, man. Appreciate you checking it out, man. Hopefully you get a lot, a lot of game, man. So we got right now, so we got three of us that's married to Colombians, one brother married to a Dominicana. And so um, one reason why I wanted to uh, kind of put um, this type of stream together is because the travel space, the passport bro space, whatever you want to refer to it as, um, it's a mixed bag of different type of travelers, different types of, um, you know, uh, goals guys want to attain. And I would say the my I would say the minority sector of the passport bros are the married are the married bros. True. And so um, there's not. I would say a lot of focus or content that kind of highlights that because a lot of people say, you know, these guys, y'all not trying to marry, y'all not marrying those women, y'all just doing ABC. And there are a lot of brothers, there are a lot of uh, uh, men that are married, brothers that are that are getting married and want to get married. And um, another and another reason too, I want to kind of highlight from my knowledge where I've been seeing a lot of marriages, especially on this, on this side of the world in Latin America. And I would say the last, maybe the last three to five years, I would say it's been more marriage, more marriages in Colombia 
from was, was born, man, in, in all of Latin America. So I wanted to kind of start off with, um, I'll start with you, brother Andre. Um, what made you want to seek a foreign spouse? Uh, you know what? For, for me, it really wasn't initial. Uh, I was like everybody else, you know, out having my fun and doing my thing. And so I wanna not, not don't want to deny that part. But I I was married before, as a lot of guys know. And even though that marriage didn't work out, I enjoyed marriage. So I'm I, you know, I love being in a couple. So I'm not one of those guys that I can be 50, 60, 70 years old and I'm still a playboy. That's yeah. I'm not, you know, I, I could do that, but I'm not that's just not my thing. So I knew that if I did decide to settle down. Once again, I was just traveling, having my fun like everybody else. I knew I would settle down and take it seriously. But once I met my wife, and I kid you not, I'm going to tell y'all something. In all sincerity, I know how I am. I actually came to Cali to do a mongering uh, ish uh, exploration. Mm-hmm. See, see, at that time period, a lot of you guys know, some of you guys don't know, I used to be in the swinger world. So I was heavy and swinging in Florida. So I found out, you know, all my friends uh, that are Colombian, in, in, uh, there's a huge Colombian population in uh, in, in Tampa, where, I, where I'm from. So they kept, you, you're traveling everywhere else, Drake. You know, why don't you check out our country? So I said, okay. So I'm already in this swinger world. Let me see what's going on in Colombia with this world. So I wasn't on the monger side. I was on in a totally different side uh, when it came to exploits. Mm. And so I did my homework, and guess who I found out with the capital of Swinger World in Colombia? Cali. Wow. You would think it would be Medellin or Cartagena or Bogota. No, Cali the freaky freaky. So <laughs> I'm going to Cali to, you know, do my 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 exploration, like I'm National G, and mm. I meet my wife in the mall. Mm. We, we hit it off and that 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 swinger world dream got deferred <laughs> <laughs> it got deferred like immediately man like okay i'm, I'm done <laughs> and so i've been happy happily married ever since and i don't look back i'm not one of those dudes that that are envious of other men that are married actually mm. i mean that are single i'm actually happy for those single brothers just like i'm happy for his married brothers that's what's up that's what's up man solo traveler man let us know man what uh what inspired you to get married or did your travel start off wanting to be wanting to get married yeah see for me my life was a little bit about both um <clears throat> for me for those of you that don't know my story and i'll make a quick little um story short story of what's going on for me you know i've been through a lot of relationships um in you know in the states and so forth and Basically, things wasn't working out, and um, someone actually introduced me to uh, Charles Tyler, some of his content, mm-hmm. and and that's kind of got me to look at things a bit different than what I was doing before, which was just traveling, um, just for tourist, you know, situations, whatever. Because like the thing about it is that I didn't find out about the whole monger thing and, and all that stuff until after, you know, I started, you know, getting deeper into that whole field of things and so forth. So, so what I did was uh, for me. Um, after from um, visiting Colombia the first time, see, I didn't know about the whole world of the stuff that was going on, you know, the underground and the you know, pre whatever and, and so forth. But I just fell in love with being there because I got shown around. And it was until my second uh, trip, that's when I actually got introduced to a lot of that stuff. And and basically for me, it's the fact that since I fell in love with the Colombian culture and, and of course the women and so forth, that's what kind of made me want to um settle down with someone that actually from a columbia especially uh from Medellin area you know because i do want to um you know live there in that area so it made more sense for me to do that as well and plus since i have you know family um uh, previous relationships and so forth in the states for having kids so it made more sense for me to settle down with someone um and of course just to show my kids you know uh, more of the femininity of what it is to be of a woman uh than what is being taught here in the states so at least have them see it firsthand so all that made sense for me to get married so that's just my my quick little story of what I've been through as far as um what got me or prompted me to want to get married and so forth. And you, and you love them Pisces, man. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, man, drop a bomb for them. <laughs> for those that don't know what a Pisa is, a Pisa is from the region of Medellin. Uh, Mr. Pro for you, man, uh, what prompted you to get married and, and was that your, uh, I guess, initial goal when you, know, when you started traveling? You know, I mean, 
I don't think that was any of our initial goals. I mean, <laughs> me, my, you know, I mean, me myself, um, I'm from the West Coast. So it's funny that anytime you guys ask Dre something about Cali, I start to answer and got to catch myself because I'm from Cali. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but now we got this new Cali right here. <laughs> the, 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 I call it the, uh, you know, this international Cali. But no, um, I moved to New York, you know, I moved to New York for, um, you know, job opportunity mm -hmm. and my cousin lives in Maryland. So he, uh, he contacted me, you know, I probably been in New York for like maybe a year and a half at that time, maybe two, 20 year and a half for two years. And so he called me and said, man, you know, you got your passport. I'm like, nah, he said, I think you should get your passport. You know, I'm, we getting ready to take this trip to DR and um, I think you would, uh, I think it'd be beneficial to you. I'm like, okay. See, the thing is, you know, I wasn't traveling before that. I'm mean, like, like for me, moving to New York was traveling, you know, mm. moving to New York was experiencing other cultures, you know, and in, mm. in, in, in Cali, you know, my Cali, you know, the, the, the cultures are black, white, Asian, Mexican, that's it. Right. Moved to New York and all of a sudden, you know, it's not just black, you know, it's, it's all these others, Haitian, it's Jamaican, you know, those are the Africans, you know, everything else, you know, we fall up under. Right. And so, you know, same thing for white, same thing, it's, it's not just white, or those are the, you know, those are the Russians, those are the Jews, those are, uh, all those things. So, um, you know, for me, that was already, you know, a culture experience. But, um, you know, when he told me about taking that trip, I said, well, okay, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'll check it out. I don't have my passport. He said, come out here, take you to get your passport. Went out there, took me to get it. So he said, before we go, there's this website I want you to check out. It's called Dominican Cupid. Mm. I said, okay. And mind you, I didn't know nothing about Dominican Republic and I didn't know nothing about Dominicans. And I think when I saw a Dominican chick in New York, I thought she was black and Mexican, you know? So when I got on the website, I'm like, what i said oh okay <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I understand <laughs> so <going> on here <laughs> so you know, i'm on a website you know we're going looking around and everything and uh you know you start you start lining them up you know what i'm saying but i run across this green dress you know what i'm saying green's my favorite color like i say i saw legs from there to there <laughs> And I like legs from there to there. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, end up hollering at her, you know, messaged her. And, you know, back then we thought we was doing some real Mission Impossible thing. We was copy pasting that Spanish, that Espanol, <laughs> you know, a couple of those intro lines, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, it wasn't like it, it wasn't like it is now. There was no apps, you know, and Google Translate. Brothers weren't thinking about Google Translate or something. So we would do it. It was like some real, you know, slick, sophisticated thing, you know what I mean? So I started hollering at her. Like, all right, well, let's take it, you know, let's take it off off, off the platform. Mm. And so we get off the platform and, um, you know, I call her and I'm like, damn, I mean, you look good in pictures, but in video, you know, this is, <laughs> I'm so, but right. check it out. But then she started talking mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know, I mean, my wife's English is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it is. <laughs> I'm like, you sure you in DR? She's like, yeah. I'm like, let me see. Because back then, you know, when homies would be on, you know, me and a couple other brothers, you know, a couple of homies were on Dominican Cupid. Every now and then, you know. You know, my phone will ring late at night. He said, hey, if you if you meet this chick named such and such, don't holler at her. She in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we was on the lookout for, uh, you know, the Dominicanas that wasn't, you know, on location. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we trying to get these passports stamped. And so um, she showed me she was out there. You know, And I'm like, okay, it's on. So I took the trip with my cousin, had it, you know, made arrangements for her to, you know, come down. And the thing is, y'all know where my cousin's trip was at, right? It was not in the capital. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Do I got to say it? North, no. North, 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 North,
you know, we were, uh, you know, we had a spot in Cabaret Day. So, you know, I had her come down. You know, that was the first time to get, get to check her out. You know, I was like, look, this is my cousin's, you know, it's my cousin's birthday. We're here for a few days. So, you know, I'm going to check you out, you know, come down, see you for like, you know, a day, you know, dance and, and then go back. This would be our point A. So she comes down. And when it was time for her to go, one of my homies looked and said, man, you send her back. You send her finds back. You're the stupidest in, in this world. <laughs> so I was the stupidest in, in this world. Cause I, I mean, I didn't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were here for the birthday party, whatever, send her back. You know, she went back and we did our thing, you know, out there. So, you know, that's how it goes. I mean, that's, the, that's, that's always point A. That's how we, you know, understand, you know, what it's about. But after that, you know, I mean, I think because the language barrier was not there because there was no language barrier, mm -hmm. we were able to just vibe and just communicate. And it was like, you know, not only does she look the part, she is the part, you know, mm -hmm. I mean? you know, and that's the thing about like, I don't knock brothers who have the language barrier. Cause like I always say, there's a will, there's a way. I don't tell a brother what he can't do, but for me, because there was no language barrier, that's what enabled us to just come like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, and went from there. So we got, you know, we got tighter, we got closer, and the relationship got serious. And um, I mean, I mean, if a brother don't recognize, you know, what's for him, I don't know what to tell you. you know what I mean, I recognize, and you know, now that's the missus. So that's how that that that's my story. Man, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Leroy said my wife, uh, Jenny, is there in Cali as we speak. Okay, she had a family emergency. Okay, hope hope all is well, bro. Hope all is well. Well, my, my backstory is, so when I started traveling internationally, I already knew that my goal was to eventually find a wife. That's that's always been my my goal. But I wanted to I wanted to find a country that I love because I, I realized just in relationships in general that you want to be you want to be you want to be where the home of your woman is a wife is because her heart her heart her heart is always going to be home like I, I've, I've dated women in the United States from different cities and when we broke up guess where they went they went back home. And sometimes, and it was some situations where I kind of wanted to work things out, but I didn't want I didn't want to move back to their city because I didn't like it there. So I always told myself was that I should position myself to be in a country where I will always want to be, so I could always be there. And if I had to fight for the love of my life, I'm somewhere where I want to be. So. Saying all that to say, you know, I visited a lot of countries and Colombia was a country I fell in love with. Um, Cartagena was a city that I fell in love with. So I started heavily, you know, looking for, you know, searching for women in Cartagena. Um, I really wasn't, I, I really wasn't inter interested in the dating sites because, you know, a lot of times what you get with the dating sites, you get women that a lot of men, that a lot of men met, seen, or hollered at before. So I, I didn't want I really didn't want that situation to come back come back on me. And so I was trying little things like Facebook and Instagram. And you know, a lot of a lot of women, especially younger women, they like to use the hashtags, hashtag Cartagena, hashtag at the mall, hashtag whatever. So I was just searching certain hashtags that was particular to Cartagena. And I was just, you know, hitting up random profiles and then, you know, I, my my wife now, I hit her up on Instagram. And we just kind of small talked. We were just kind of friends for, um, we we're just kind of friends for a while. Um, and so my next segue with y'all is going to be, you know, how patient y'all was y'all process. So um, to make a long story short, we was friends for about a year and a half before we even started dating. And up until we got married, we known each other for almost four years.